This is the only laboratory in Austria where the accreditation is available. So this is a restricted area, uh, uh, the accredited area for wafer surface contamination analysis. Uh, the method we are applying here is uh, total reflection X-ray fluorescence analysis, TXRF. This is an X-ray analytical method um, uh, where the X-ray beam is uh, impinging on the smooth polished surface of the wafer material. And due to this grazing incidence, uh, the uh, detection limits of these methods are low enough uh, for the application uh, to semiconductor industry. Semiconductor industry uh, is uh, requesting low detection limits uh, uh, for contamination on silicon wafer surfaces uh, because uh, the shrinking of the device size uh, is uh, only possible if uh, the wafer uh, surface contamination is below a special value and this special value uh, is below 10 uh, to the 10th atoms per square centimeter uh, to, give, to make uh, this uh, number a little bit uh, more realistic, uh, 10 to the 10th atoms per square centimeter uh, is a uh, 10,000, factor of 10,000 of an atomic monolayer. As these detection limits are so low, the uh, analysis has to, has to be performed under clean room conditions. And in this restricted area, we have here a uh, clean uh, room class uh, 100, uh, which is sufficient for the analysis. This is the uh, response uh, of the wafer after the irradiation with uh, X-rays. Uh, you see here peaks. Uh, these peaks are on an energy scale, so you see here a spectrum, and this spectrum represents uh, the energy of the atoms uh, present as contamination on the silicon wafer surface. As one of the main tasks of the Vienna University of Technology is uh, research-based teaching, uh, we offer here the students the possibility to get familiar uh, with the quality management uh, combined uh, with the method, with the analytical method of uh, TXRF, a wafer surface analysis, and it is a possibility uh, to learn this as a hands-on training.